Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.8.4 and Razbam Simulations M2000C Mirage Module. Welcome to bonus video number one, Stored Heading Alignment. In the first tutorial, Startup, I demonstrated a standard alignment which takes eight minutes. This is a much quicker procedure, it only takes one minute and 30 seconds, however, it's only possible to use this method if the aircraft has not been moved since it was shut down, uh, because this uses the stored position and heading within the INS in order to speed up the alignment process. So, let's uh, demonstrate the difference in procedure here. Uh, and within the aircraft, this is labelled as ALCM, which in French is Alignment sur Cap Memories. Uh, I apologize for the pronunciation, literally translates as alignment with stored heading. So let's get started. Battery switch on. I'm just going to show you the absolute minimum steps you need to do to do this alignment. Of course, you would do this as part of the normal startup, as demonstrated in tutorial number one. Uh, also, in order to avoid running the battery down uh, or having to start the engine, the we're going to connect external power. Copy. Power is now on. Cool. It's not possible to power the INS without ground power or the generator, so you can't just do it on battery. We want to make sure that our operational mode is in normal, and we want to put the mode selector into VEI for standby. You'll then notice that the PCN powers up here at the front. We're going to take a look at our kneeboard because the first thing we need to do is confirm a couple of things. On the pilot sign-out sheet, we need to make sure the ALCM is available. This will say that it's not available in the event the aircraft has been moved. We haven't moved the aircraft and so we can actually use this procedure. We then want to ensure that we prep 00, zero insert. We, well, actually, I don't think you need insert, you just prep 00. zero. So we want 00, zero in the prep. 00, zero is always aircraft's current position. Now, because we're not aligned, this will be the position it was at when it was shut down. We then must confirm that the lat long and altitude match what we have in the kneeboard. So we've got 34.42.9. Here I've got 34.42.9. And easting 032.30.0, 032.30.0. Flip it to altitude, and I've got 16 meters. And here on the kneeboard, I've got 16 meters. That's our confirmation done. We're happy that we can proceed. Now put the mode selector into ALCM, and then switch your operational mode to STS. We will then get um, information on the PCN here about progress. Flashing align means we're ready to go. Press validate, and the process will begin. This will take 1 minute and 30 seconds, during which time the counter will sit at 100 until the gyro is spun up, and then it will count down to 0. Once it gets to 0, PRET, or READY, will flash in green on the, the window here. And at that stage we can put the INS into NAV mode, and we're ready to go. Uh, and note, uh, while we don't have alignment, the, the main artificial horizon is uh, flagged. And if we had the HUD on, I could actually put the HUD on just now. Uh, that would also be showing no pitch bars and uh, an incorrect compass heading. I'll just let that warm up. And you can see now the uh, quality is counting down. So uh, we should observe this won't take very long. Like I said, 1 minute 30 seconds as opposed to the usual 8 minutes that it would take. Okay, we'll just watch this a little bit longer. But this is basically the whole procedure. Once this is at zero and I have flash and pret, uh, the last thing I do is put this into nav mode and then we're good to go. So in many situations, this is going to be what you're going to do. Of course, if you've already flown the aircraft or it's been moved, this won't work. Zero, flashing pret, confirmation that we're in uh, stage four. So nav mode, back to normal, and then we can confirm artificial horizon, flag is gone, and heading is correct. Nice, 
Okay, that's the entire procedure. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of joining Deep Hack's ground crew if you'd like to support the channel even further. You can do that by pressing the join button below for a small monthly fee. Big thank you to those of you who've already done so. Thank you very much, Harish Rajan, Leo Netzel, Byron Farrow, Storm Kambari, Channel Wright, Mangash, J.R. Walker, Chandler Hedgewald, Griff Nizzle, Mr. Yeti, Frantic Stone, Bread, Tier Zero, Adinkertan, Veli Tapani Korpikanas, Tiger Muto, Mitch, Mike Delta, Plucky Underdog, Fault Rever, Guitar Junkie 14, and Pink Floyd. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.